out, everybody. Today, we're going to do about a 25-minute boot camp workout. Um, I'm using his Jacob here as our demo person, and I'm just going to boss him around and give directions. We'll use uh, Tabata style, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. Many of you have done this in boot camps before. Uh, always remember, you can choose modifications if the exercise doesn't seem like a good one for you. Uh, just do something else for that 20 seconds and then make sure you take your 10 seconds rest. We're doing a split routine, so we'll do four sets of one exercise followed by four of another. Take a quick break in between, maybe grab a drink of water and uh, go on from there. Make sure before you start that you do some of your warm up exercises, rolling shoulders and air squats, stretch it out. Jacob's coming in off of run, so he's all ready to go. Okay, let's get started. Okay, we'll be starting off with squats. Getting ready. 20 seconds. All right, here we go. Jacob's got some nice deep squats there, but remember, go at your range of motion. Uh, keeping those knees aligned over those toes, the chest is lifted. Awesome. Your tempo too. Three, two, one. Yes. Excellent. Take a little shake. Complete. Oh, pump this music up a little louder. Prepare and work. Here we go. Same thing. Squat again. Go. <laughs> oh, you just missed a second there. Good, nice form, looks great. So this extra, this routine today doesn't require any equipment. And as you can see, you can do it in your bare feet if you want to. One, rest. Cycle two, complete. Two, one, and rest. All right, one, complete. 
So here's where you might take a little drink of water, you guys. The next two exercises, we're gonna move to, I call it a crab foot touch. So you're in a back crab position. Hands will be facing away from you. And uh, I'm gonna do a little quick little demo while we're waiting. So hips up, you'll reach for toe, reach for toe. Keep on going. We'll follow that up with our power squats. Squat out, jump in. Squat out, squat in. Your choice, okay? All right, you guys ready? Starting round two. Prepping. Get ready for Tabata two. Okay, she'll tell you when to go. Remember that you can take an extra break Five, or skip whatever four, you want. The beauty three, of a video. Two, one. And go. <laughs> nice. Good. Yeah, it takes a little bit of a bounce. It might be, feel better, Jacob, if your foot's out a little bit further in a crabby. Yeah, you still get a nice core work out of it. Yeah, find that sweet spot for your legs, guys, okay? Three, two, one. And take a break. Rest. Take out those hands. Now, if this wasn't working for you, roll down on your back and do some core work instead, okay? And work. If it's bothering your wrist, you need to take a break to do something else. You got lots of choices. You guys know what to do. Nice. Good. You should be feeling some of that in the core, but also the back of the arms, some triceps. Two, one, rest. Nice. Where are you feeling that, Jake? Good. Prepare and work. Nice. Number three, guys. Come on. You got it. Nice and strong. You got to get creative with that body weight workout, right? Remember, while you're at home, you can fill up some water jugs and use those for weights. Climb up and down your stairs carrying three, some weight. Two, one. Nice. Rest. Cycle three. All right, last one here. Then we'll move up into standing. Prepare and work. Nice. Good. Pushing through. Nice job. Excellent. Almost there. Three, two, one. Rest. All right, guys. Moving on to those. Power jacks. You squat out, squat in, or just squat out. If those aren't good for you, half jacks would work. Nice. Excellent. Yep. So lots of choices with this one, too. Maybe just low, no jumping, low impact. Good. Double squats. Excellent. Beautiful. Three, two, one. All this exercise is making me thirsty. <laughs> Prepare and work. All right, come on, let's do this. Nice. Excellent. Good, feel them leg muscles. Beautiful. Three, two, one. Rest. Cycle six complete. All right, just two more, two more. Moving our way through. Prepare and work. Nice. Keep it up, guys. You got this. It's a really easy video. You can get your kids to join in with you. You could probably even do it outside if the weather's a little bit warmer. Find a nice Three, flat spot. Two, one. Rest. Cycle seven complete. All right, last one. Already. Woo. Prepare and work. Nice. Good. Now Jacob's going really, really deep. You'll never see me go that deep. You don't have to go that deep, okay? He's young. <laughs> A lot stronger than I am, but it's okay. We all work at our own levels. And rest. Excellent. Two. Two. All right. Take that rest, guys. I'll tell you what's coming up next. So we're gonna move into push.
push-ups. Lots of choices with your push-ups. Remember, you've got wall push-ups, you've got push-ups on your knees, regular push-ups, wide base push-ups is what we're doing. The second half of this set is high knees. They could be low impact or high impact with a little bit of bouncing. It'll be your choice. Okay, so take another little breather, shake it out, drink your water, staying hydrated. get started just a moment here all right so again if push-ups aren't your thing roll over on your back and do a nice strong set of core work okay get ready for Tabata oh you're gonna love this song okay <laughs> Starting to feel too much in your wrist, roll over and do a set of core instead. Four. Woo! Oh, yeah. Tell me, maybe. Dance for you guys. These are tough guys. Push ups are hard. They're not for everybody. So make some choices, okay? And work. Nice. And the beauty of a video is you can press that button and skip ahead if you want to. Or repeat. How about that? <laughs> nice. Three, two, one. Yes. Cycle three. All right, one more set. Then we'll be up off onto our feet again with our high knees. Get that cardio back up. Work. work. Awesome. Here, breathe, breathe through, guys. Come on, you got this. Dig in deep. Nice. All right. Keep neck core tight. Beautiful. Job well done. Cycle four. Okay. Moving to those high knees. Prepare and work. All right, get them up there. Nice. Pump those arms. Remember your low impact option if you want to. Okay. Good. Nice. Get that heart rate back up. Three, two. Take that break. Prepare and work. All right, here we go. Nice. Jake's got some long levers there, a lot of effort. We're on the second level of our house. Probably knocking off a lot of dust downstairs to the kitchen. Excellent, excellent work. All right, let's breathe. How are you feeling, Jake? 
jacks. So we down on the forearms, elbows under the shoulders, and legs will jack in and out, or Jake will show you that, or step out in it, okay? That will be followed by holding a side plank for 20, one side, and then the other side, okay? jacks feel awkward because they mark, might on the carpet where we are. Step one leg out, step the other leg out. So out, out, in, in. Okay, are you guys are just gonna hold that forearm plank, whatever feels best for you. Getting ready. Get ready for Tabata 5. Okay, I don't think you're gonna hit the wall. Motion space there, you're gonna be okay.
push-up. Followed by, as I always write it wrong, squat thirst, but it's really squat thrust. Okay, so squat thrust, remember there's no push-ups in those. Tricep push-ups, remembering that your arms are in really narrow and you come a little bit forward, 90 degree, press back up, can be done on your knees. If you don't want to do that, your wrists have had enough, roll on your back and do some core work, okay? All right, guys, are we ready to go? We are almost done with this here workout. You guys are doing awesome. <laughs> All right, you ready, Dave? And remember, you can always take a little bit longer rest by turning off that video if you want to, okay? No snacks in the kitchen, though. Get ready for Tabata 6. All right, nice and tight. Hands under the shoulders. Yep. Five, four. Square their shoulders three, down your back. Two, Good. One. 90 degree is Work. fine, too. That's fine. You, yep. Yep. That's perfect. Perfect. Beautiful form. Good. Keep pointing the tailbone towards your heels. Be careful about arch on the back. Nice. Excellent. Not easy. Remember, it's not about how many. Rest. So, slow it down if you need to. Wait, can I do it? Prepare and <laughs> Alright, yeah, it doesn't matter how many you get in, guys. Maybe it's two, maybe it's eight. Do them with good form. Nice. Yeah, push back, take a break anytime. It's a lot. It's a nice load on your triceps there. You're halfway there. Prepare and work. Oh, sorry. Got carried away. All right. Keep it going, guys. Come on, you got this. Thank you. 
Seeds. Really nice work, you guys. Make sure you get a drink of water. We have one combination left, just one. Okay, so hang in there. You're gonna like this one anyways. So we'll move to Spider-Man in your plank position. Knee comes to elbow. Uh, just a little reminder there. Knee to elbow. You could do this on your forearms if, if you want to, or you could do it standing. We'll follow that up with any abdominal exercise of your choice, okay? And that will conclude our boot camp workout. We'll offer a little bit of a stretch at the end for you, and you'll be on your way. All right, Jake, got this. All right, so we're starting with Spider-Man. Getting ready, guys. Get ready for Tabata second. Midnight run. Woo! Five, four, three, two, one. So nice, strong through the core there. Drawing that knee to the elbow, getting some oblique work in there. Excellent. Good. Nice. Remember option, you can drop to your forearms for this. One, rest. Rest. Cycle one, complete. Another option might be a side pull from standing position. Okay, working through the obliques. And work. Excellent. All the way, guys. Come on, bring it home. Two, one, and 
stretch. You can lay all the way down and we'll stretch out those hamstrings on your back. Oh. <laughs> all the way down. Yeah, let's extend one foot to the sky and you can bend up the other leg if you're really tight. So you're probably tight, so you might want to bend this leg. Yep, even more. Oh, you're sweaty and dry. <laughs> you can reach for that calf if you want. Just stretch through that Achilles calf and point and flex the foot and roll through the ankle. Really nice job today, you guys. Congratulations on completing your YMCA boot camp video number one. Good with Jake as my demo person. <laughs> you can move that right into a figure four, so crossing this foot across the knee and gently push that knee out to the side. And you may be very flexible, and it looks like you're pretty flexible. You can pick the other foot off the ground and just dive through, yep, and come on in. Good, get a little deeper stretch, nice, good. Release those feet back to the floor, uncross your legs and let the bent legs roll. You can bend your legs up again and just roll over those legs to the side, yeah. And open up your chest to me. So you open up, yeah, nice spinal twist, release, guys. Open up that chest, looking at the ceiling. Breathe, nice. And then come back up to center and let's work on the other hamstring. So extending that leg to the ceiling. Remember, if you're very tight, you're gonna keep this leg bent and gently pull that leg into you. Point and flex your foot and roll through the ankle. Yeah, really get that nice stretch there. Good, when you're ready, go into your figure four stretch. So crossing this ankle across the knee and you're more than welcome to pull it off the ground. Give it a little deeper stretch. Nice. Good breathing. <sighs> Relaxing through. Good. Uncrossing those legs. And when you're ready, let both knees drop to the other side. Open up and look the other direction. So spinal release. Good. Try to keep those shoulders nice and wide open and breathe into the side body. Good. Inhale, exhale. Nice. From here, you can roll completely on your side. Jake will probably roll all the way over that way. And stay on your side, let your head rest on the floor, but take that top arm and bend the top leg. Let's go into a quad stretch. Good, so you wanna keep those legs parallel and push the hips forward a little bit and just release. You can support your head with your hand if you want to. Really stretch through the front of the leg and deep into the hip flexor as well. Nice, good. From here, you can slowly let go of that foot and roll right onto your belly. So you'll probably roll off your mat, doesn't matter. Let's bring it up into a sphinx pose. So elbows under, or full cobra is fine. Yep, perfect. Breathe, nice back flexibility there. Good, stretching through the belly. And again, when you're ready, slowly release and you'll roll right onto the other side for the top leg quad stretch. Yeah, good. Pulling that foot into hand, keep that knee parallel with the other leg and push the hip forward, breathing into that hip flexor and quad. Nice work, good. When you're ready, slow release and then roll back onto your belly and push right up onto a table on hands and knees. So take a couple of cat cows, rounding the back all the way. So arching and rounding both directions. Inhale, exhale. Really breathe through and nice all the way. Good. And coming to neutral, go ahead and push back into a child's pose when you're ready. Yep, you can have your legs together or apart, whatever you prefer. Reaching those arms straight out in front and Taking a nice big inhale, exhale. Go ahead and drop your hips to one side, but creep your arms to the opposite side. So you get a little side body stretch there. Breathing into the side body. And then go ahead and come through, through center and creep to the other side. Good. Nice. And coming back to center, 
You can push yourself right back onto the balls of your feet into a squat position. It's a nice stretch for your toes and knees can be wide. And just straighten up that back. Maybe, yes, come into a balance there. Nice. From here, drop those hands back down to the floor. Lift your bottom up and just roll up your spine one vertebrae at a time. All the way back up to standing. When you get there, you can roll your shoulders away from your ears. Oh, we've totally lost Jake out of the picture there. Roll those shoulders back and turn front. Good, and take those arms up overhead. Give it a little tricep stretch. Nice. And other side. And you may want to add a few more stretches that we left out here today, you guys. But excellent job today with the workout. And we hope to see you soon. Take care.